हेलो वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे लेट्स स्टार्ट लेसन नंबर ट्वेंटी वन बिजी एट वर्क आवर इंटरनल ऑर्गन्स चिल्ड्रन विल परफॉर्म वन एक्टिविटी टेक अ लार्ज शीट ऑफ थिक पेपर अबाउट द हाइट ऑफ अ चाइल्ड इन द क्लास पुट इट ऑन द वॉल एज शोन इन द पिक्चर एंड सेक्यूर इट विथ टेप्स ask one student to stand against it and another to draw the outline of the body now get other students to point out the right places of the following organs within the outline the brain lungs heart and stomach now recall the following details about each of the organs first one in which cavity of the body is it situated second what is its function third which are the bones that protect it let's see one by one brain brain is situated in cranial cavity and the skull bones protect brain the function of brain is to control the body movements next lungs and heart they are situated in the thoracic cavity that is in the chest and lungs function is respiration and the function of heart is circulation of blood and the rib cage protects lungs and heart next stomach stomach is situated in abdominal cavity and it is protected by thick muscles and the function of stomach is digestion processes like respiration digestion go on inside the body continuously with the help of certain organs let's learn something about these processes and the organs that carry them out children try this use a watch to count how many times you breathe in one minute when you are sitting comfortably from this work out approximately how many times you breathe in an hour so in a minute we breathe normally 15 times therefore 15 into 60 is equal to 900 times we breathe in an hour however the rate of breathing changes with different persons and with different activities now let's study about respiration we need air water and food to live it is necessary for the body to get a continuous supply of oxygen we get this oxygen from the air through breathing that's why we breathe continuously in our body there are organs that carry out the work of respiration children in the picture you can see the respiratory organs such as nose trachea it is also called as windpipe lungs and diaphragm when we inhale the air from outside goes into the trachea and through its branches into the lungs in the lungs these branches divide further into smaller and smaller branches at the end of the last branches there are air sacs or alveoli the air sacs are called as alveoli between the thoracic cavity and the abdominal cavity there is an organ like a flexible sheet like a partition it is called the diaphragm the diaphragm and its movement when the diaphragm moves downward we breathe in means we take air inside and the incoming air fills the alveoli in the lungs when the diaphragm moves upwards air in the lungs is pushed out the air is given out exchange of gases when the outside air reaches the alveoli the oxygen in it passes into the thin blood vessels around the alveoli with the blood 
it is carried to all parts of the body the oxygen is carried to all parts of the body with the help of blood at the same time the carbon dioxide that is brought by the blood from all parts of the body enters the air in the alveoli when we exhale the carbon dioxide is also given out with the air so in this way an exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide gases takes place in the alveoli do you know dust and smoke particles may be present in the air in the atmosphere there may even be disease producing microorganisms they are harmful for the body the inner lining of the respiratory organs has fine hair like structures called cilia for example in the nose cilia are present cilia means hair like structure on this inner lining there is also a layer of a sticky substance called mucus in the nose hairs are there and also sticky substance mucus is there the dust and smoke particles stick to this substance thus the harmful substances in the air cannot reach the lungs children try this yourself count how many times you breathe in one minute just after you have run 100 meters after running you have to count next get someone else to count how many times you breathe in one minute while you are asleep what is the difference in the two counts the effects of smoking if one keeps smoking over a long period of time the toxic substances means poisonous substances in the smoke collect in the respiratory tract as a result the air that enters the lungs is not sufficiently purified and the impurities means waste substances in the air begin to accumulate accumulate means collect in the lungs as a result the efficiency of the lungs is reduced the likelihood of getting diseases of the lung increases the solid particles in the tobacco smoke from the cigarette or bidi from a sticky layer inside the alveoli this reduces the amount of oxygen supplied to the body in addition some toxic substances in the tobacco also enter the alveoli these ill effects lead to diseases of respiratory organs including life threatening diseases like lung cancer it is a deadly disease the person may be going to die now passive smoking means continuous smoking if there are people around us who smoke then we may have to face the consequences means effects of smoking even if we do not smoke ourselves see even we are not smoking but in our surroundings if people are smoking then we will also get the bad effect of those things on our health that's why there is no now a ban on smoking in public places i hope you have understood the topic so for better understanding read the topic once again and do the given homework